we just provide a foundation to get started with using the software. Actually, this is a really, really easy software to work with. It's uh, very less confusing and it's straightforward. Um, the interface is really, really easy. So, if you are intending to work with this and learning more about this software, you can go to uh, the documentation part uh, provided at the official website of this software, which is matcal.at. Okay, so before beginning with uh, any operation, let's first know what these things are. Okay, this this row over here is the menu bar, as we have seen in a lot of other softwares, and this is the toolbar section. This is the quick access bar. Uh, this is the Windows option. We'll see the different options while performing some operations later. This is the variables window. Uh, this is the console. Actually, this console is really important to. Uh, infer the results obtained after calculations you perform. Uh, here you'll see the pressures, the temperatures, uh, different other uh, compositions and, uh, and a whole lot of other things while you perform uh, any operation. Here. So let's begin with a new workspace. These are the workspaces that I have been working with. Okay, so here it says no phases available because we haven't selected any phases so getting started with this we are going to select um, uh, a system a system and we'll be selecting the different phases uh, some phases uh, related to that system so speaking of which we will we'll be talking about um, the iron carbon system which is really um, basic and uh, we'll be basically using the database provided by this software so we go to uh, global and then let me show that again we go to global and databases <clears throat> and here's the thermodynamics here what you see is the iron part here and the vacuum is uh, selected by default uh, vacuum is always there so we'll let it as it is since we're working with iron carbon system we will be selecting uh, carbon along with iron here which is already selected and there you see all the phases that are possible with this system so for working here we will be selecting some of the phases that are most common okay. the BCC as we know body centered structure the body centered cubic structure this is also known as ferrite CC, uh, austenite, liquid phase, cementite, and uh, the most well known. Uh, let's go with graphite. Okay, we just read and close it. So, what we've done is we've imported the phases that uh, we are intending to work with, and we need to tell the software uh, what phases we have taken and uh, make it ready to perform. The, any calculations that we are intending to perform uh, in the future so for that we will be notifying making the software ready to uh, um, generate everything that uh, uh, that's needed to continue working with the specific phases that we have included here so we'll go with go to calc here and then set start values this will what this does is it makes the software ready for operations. Okay, so we'll provide a, um, a we'll provide an environment to say that a temperature. What we are trying to study the equilibrium of these phases at. So we will be going to global. No, we're going to calc and will perform an equilibrium so performing an equilibrium at any temperature let's go with 700 okay so what we've done is we have set the temperature to 700 and the pressure here is the standard pressure in pascal so so now it is really important to know what has happened we have set the temperature to 700 degrees celsius and the standard pressure and we are trying to 
know which phases are possible to exist, which phases are active at that temperature provided. So, in that iron carbon system at 700 degrees Celsius and the standard pressure, we can see the first block here, the topmost block, shows the phases that are possible or which are active at that temperature. And the second block here shows the phases that are inactive at that temperature of the iron carbon system. Uh, okay, so this the this DFM is called the driving force. Okay, these are the compositions. Yeah. So you can change the compositions. Uh, it's per your wish. So we go to uh, global compositions. So we can see that the iron and carbon composition here is 99.6 by weight percent here you can see and carbon has 0.4 weight percentage you can change them as you wish by double clicking here or you can provide any data you like so we're just, we're just gonna let it as it is so you can change options here and you'll see the changes here mole fraction U fraction. What this is? This is uh, actually the volume fraction. You can say that volume fraction, weight percentage. We'll let it. Um, what what you see here is the reference element part here. It shows iron as the reference element. So Fe is uh, yes to the reference element. So that means Fe is the reference element in this system. So what we have inferred from this phase summary uh, box is that the, there are two active phases at 700 and three inactive phases at 700 degrees Celsius, and these driving forces are what uh, were uh, what were um, what were inadequate to reach the active state. Phase status, phase details, okay. So we go with phase details here, so we can learn a couple of things from there. This GM is a molar, this is molar Gibbs free energy here. This Fe and C, they're basically the compositions that we've seen earlier. These are the compositions of the phase, uh, composition of the constituents for the certain phase for BCC, and these are the composition this is the composition of graphite here so what you can see is graphite contains 100 percent of carbon and the inactive phases that we have inferred from phase summary are also provided here with some additional information uh, which is the molar gibbs free energy the driving forces okay so that's all for this tutorial and we'll be working some stepped calculation in the next video. Actually, the step calculation. We have performed equilibrium calculation today. Step calculation is also an equilibrium calculation, but uh, you vary the temperature or the constituents, the phase compositions, and perform and see what happens as you change the temperature or as you change the compositions.